Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, welcome to another tutorial on how to animate water using After Effects and Flash. What we're gonna be looking at this time is how to create a wake in the water behind a boat or something else that was traveling behind it. You can see I've got this little animation in After Effects. It's looking quite a lot like the kind of wake of a boat. So let's check out how we've done that. We've got another pre-comp. If you looked at the last tutorial on the wave crashing on a beach, we're using very similar techniques this time. So I'm going to call this pre-comp wave warp. Let's make it a bit simpler. And this comp here, main comp. There we go. You can rename compositions by pressing enter and then typing a name. So let's double click on this wave warp and check out what it actually is. It's a bit difficult to see at the moment. So I think I will change the composition settings to have a black background so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Uh, what we've got is a shape layer. If I turn the wave warp off, there's no animation there. It's just a rectangle, it stays the same shape all the way through. There's no keyframing on it at all. And this wave warp, it's the smooth noise again. It's a really good wave warp preset to use when you want nice natural flowing shapes. The wave height is 2993 and the wave width is 1545. So because we've bumped it up to really high values, that's why we're getting this kind of pixelation because this is a bitmap effect, even though it's being applied to a vector layer. The direction is minus three, the wave speed is minus two. It's moving pretty slowly. As you would expect the wake of a boat to travel. The pinning is all edges, there's no phase, and there's n and the anti-aliasing is high. Just a reminder that if you haven't watched my Wave Warp Basics tutorial, you really need to check that out, otherwise this is gonna be a bit confusing. Posterized time is set to 12 frames a second. And there we go, it's just flowing along like that. But the reason why I've put this in a pre-comp is because I wanted to apply some 3D to it so that I could get that kind of bird's eye view as if I was looking down from another boat and seeing this wake moving in the waves. So there we go. I've also put a drop shadow on it. So if we scroll down, take a look at the layer styles, we've got this drop shadow. You can get rid of that when you export uh, so that you've got a nice crisp edge and you can reapply it in Flash. So this is another animation that I would want to loop, but because the wave speed is so slow, it actually takes just over five seconds for it to loop. So it's quite challenging to find the loop here. You can see that that's what it looks like at the beginning. That's what it looks like at the end. It's actually quite a long loop, just over five seconds, five and a half seconds, I guess. So you can see what I've done is I've shortened the work area to five seconds, 15 frames so that it loops really nicely. So that's how you create the wake of a boat using After Effects ready to import into Flash and have a trace over. Have a go yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website hexjibber.com where you can find out more about my self-published books the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book, and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike, and are well worth checking out.